Good morning, everyone. It is bright and early. I think it's like eight o'clock. I got some errands to do today. I'm out here. I'm gonna feed the chickens. Hey, girls. Here, let's. Oh, I'll show you in a sec. Hey, yo. Good morning, sunshine. Oh my God. See, look at. She knows I got treats. There you go, girl. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Good girl, yoke. Okay. I'm going to fill up their other. Okay, so our new chicken, our little one, the sunshine, started laying eggs. Look at how little that is. I'll go get, I'll get yolks and I'll show you the difference. All right, I'm not sure. I think you can tell the difference, but yeah, the one on the right is uh, sunshine's and this is our old girl yolk. Well, she's not old, she's over a year. But yeah, that's so exciting. Now, both of them are laying eggs. Sunshine, are you laying eggs? You get your, you're in your food. <laughs> <laughs> all right girls thank you for the eggs have a good day all right guys i am going to make my 90 second bread you will need a tablespoon of coconut flour a dash of salt a tablespoon of melted butter quarter of a tablespoon of baking powder and one egg Okay, so what we're going to do is, we are just going to put it in a square dish. I think that's the perfect size. I'm just going to take a sandwich with me. i got to go to town to do a bunch of errands, and this will be a perfect size for a sandwich. So we're going to put the melted butter in there. We'll put our dash of salt just to, then you just mix all the ingredients together. So put a little dash of salt in there. One egg. Tablespoon of coconut flour. baking powder. All right, we're gonna mix this all up till it's all combined. That is all well combined, and we are gonna put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. It'll fluff up a little bit when you take it out of the microwave. So you just wanna make sure that your edges are away. It comes out really easily though, because of the butter. So I just flip it on to a paper towel. I always let it cool for a few minutes as well too, before I slice it. You cut it. Right in half, it's like so. All right, here we go. There you have your two slices of bread. So, all right, and then you would just make it like a normal sandwich. So I'm gonna put mayo, cheese, and ham on mine.
is everyone doing this morning? It is bright and early. It is 8.30 and I am on my way to town to get some errands done. It is cold again today. It is 5 degrees and it's not even October yet. So it is chilly. We had a frost warning last night actually. So I'm going to share I, the most requested video that people ask me to post and to put up is what I eat. Like what I eat in a day and everybody, and I was the same way when I was starting. Like I was so intrigued on what people were eating and like what I should be eating, I guess, you know. Um, so I'm going to show you what I eat in this video. Um, I've been doing keto now for a long time. Off and on, I would say probably like two years, but definitely since November, I finally lost my last weight and got to my goal weight of 133. So um, I eat about like 15 to 1700 calories a day. I just feel like I can't eat any more than that. Like people are saying like, you should be eating 2000 and I just can't eat any more. Like I'm just not hungry and I don't want to be force feeding myself to the point where a, I'm going to be sick, and B, where, like, I just don't need that extra calories, and therefore, like, I'm just stuffing myself full, right? You know what I mean? So, yeah, so I am going into town today. I brought my sandwich. I will um, show you that. I made it this morning before I left, because I didn't want to buy anything in town, and so I will show you that recipe. Really, really easy. Takes literally, like, well, it's 90 second bread, so it takes 90 seconds. You let it cool for another minute, and then just assemble it like a normal sandwich. So I brought that with me, and um, I should be home by supper time. I have errands to do this morning. Um, and then I, I started a job at Winners, guys. So I work at um, the Canix, and there's a Canix at every military base in Canada. And our, I've been there for almost 10 years, and our hours have been cut to 13 hours a week. And it's been like that since the beginning of August. And at first, I really liked my Tuesdays and Thursdays and just working the 13 hours. But now, I find that I have a lot of time on my hands, even though like I am doing the YouTube and editing and such. But I still find myself having a lot of time on my hands and just not being productive, I guess. So I applied to winners and I had an interview and started training and orientation yesterday. So I have that today from 1 until 5. So that's another reason why I'm getting an early start so I can get my errands done in the morning. And then after I'm done orientation at winners, then I can just head home and have my supper. But I'm so excited. Like, we get 10% off, which I know isn't much, but it's still something. I shop there anyways. Like, my jacket is from winners. My sweater that I... Um, did in my fall haul. I will link that up that in the cards above. You can click and watch it right here. But I love winners. Like that is that is my place to shop. And that's about the only place that I do shop for clothing. I've been buying these pumpkin seeds that I've been absolutely addicted. I have to stop buying them. Um, I will show you a quick clip of what they are. But they're so good. And they're keto. And so I just stock up on them, right? But yeah, I... I am so excited, like, I absolutely love it. Like, I had my career way back when, and I worked in the oil field as administration, right? So it was a very difficult job. It was very demanding. I The girls were only little. I was a single mom, and I would take them to work with me at nighttime during the week. I would take them there on weekends, you know, they would sit at the desk with me and they would do their coloring and everything. And I made really good money, don't get me wrong, but you know, that time in my life is over. I'm going to be 44 here in December and you know, my husband is 10 years older than me and we want to retire. Like our kids are both over 18 and we want to retire and I feel like just part-time jobs is like the perfect thing for me right now. It's not thinking. I don't take my work home. I enjoy it. I'm a people person. I enjoy talking to customers. And I just feel that, you know, it's something that I'm good at and I enjoy and I love going to work, right? All right. Uh, another thing I wanted to say is that I just posted uh, weekend meals as well, too, because like I said, I'm getting a lot of suggestions 
to post of uh, my meals and what I eat in a day. So I did post what I ate on a weekend. So it was a Saturday, Sunday, and I had time to record all my meals for that whole weekend. I was home all weekend. So I will link that up above as well too in the cards and in the description box. And yeah, make sure you get watch that as well too. It has a lot of good ideas and I keto-fied some like typical brunch things. So make sure you go and watch that video. It'll inspire you and give you some good ideas on what you can have on keto. All right, I am getting hungry and I'm going to eat in my car. This is what it looks like. And it's pretty good. I like it. I usually like to toast it, but I didn't have time this morning. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone, it is 519. I am almost home. I'm just over halfway home and finished orientation. So my first shift is on Saturday. And then I think I have two or three shifts next week for training. So it was good. It was just boring stuff though, like Wemyss and all that safety stuff that you got to go through. But uh, yeah, it, it seems like a good place to work. Everybody's really happy there. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. All right, so I, the only thing I ate, well, the only thing I drank, actually, since you've seen me have that sandwich that I took with me, was that Monster. I took a small video when I was in training, but that was the only thing that I had. I needed it to get me through that training. So I'm on my way home, and then I'm going to make some supper. So you will see what I eat for supper. All right, for supper, I am having rice cauliflower. These are the macros on the back. I split this up into two servings, but it's it's a lot. This this is the finished product, but I think I'm gonna have to half both of those. So yeah, I just followed the directions for the stove pop stove top and put some oil in there. I put the whole package of cauliflower rice, so I made leftovers, and then I just seasoned it to taste, which I used black pepper, garlic salt pink salt and then once it was cooked a little bit more then I added some butter some parmesan cheese and some shredded cheese I'll be honest I didn't measure on how much I used of each because I'm in maintenance so whatever you guys have for your macros is however much you guys can use and then I did a third of a cup of the green beans these are the macros on the back I just put 85 whatever the, I think it was 85 grams yeah, 85 grams, I measured it on my scale and put it in the microwave with a little bit of water for two to three minutes. And then we had elk sausage that um, our good friend Sean was nice enough to give us. I love elk sausage. And yeah, these are the size of it and they're, they're massive. Like there's no way that I'll finish one of these. So I'm going to have to split it up maybe to fours. And probably Zoe will have a serving for supper as well because she loves the cauliflower rice and everything. I think I'm going to add hot sauce as well to mine. So, yeah, really easy. It's a little bit after six, so I was kind of crunched for time on what I could make. And I had um, the elk sausage already done, so I just made kind of a, a complete meal. Easy supper. And I'm going to have this sparkling ice as well to go with my supper. All right, I ate all of that smaller bowl of supper. So I was really hungry, I guess. But that's fine. Zoe ate some of the other one, and then I still have a serving for my lunch tomorrow for work. So hope you enjoyed that. That was a really easy meal to throw together. And I think I might have a little dessert. I haven't decided yet. I only have two meals a day. So I usually have my coffee later in the morning or whenever I feel like it. And then my first meal is usually around like one o'clock. My supper is usually around like six o'clock. I do have a dessert usually after my supper and then that's it. Like I'm just, I'm full. I do intermittent fasting. Um, like I said, it helps a lot. It's kind of when you prolong your eating, you eat when you're hungry and definitely like the fasting from like 7 p.m until even like 10 a.m. the next day, you know, that's 14 hours, 16 hours, however long you can go is beneficial to you. <clears throat> so let me see if I'm gonna get something sweet because I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling it. Okay, I decided that I am going to have a couple fat bombs that I made. 
Um, I believe I made a video of them with the recipe and such. So I will link that up above, but these are good. I'm going to have two. So I haven't had many calories and fat today, so this will up, up my fat. So yeah, I'm going to finish the day with these fat bombs. All right, everyone, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed my day of eating. I hope it helps and inspires some of you guys to get some ideas on what you can have when you're on keto. Um, yeah, a lot of the items today actually are pretty easy. You can make them, find them in your grocery store. If you don't have elk sausage, obviously just look for a sausage that has the lowest carbs. Sometimes you can find ones that are like one or two carbs per link. But everything that I ate today was definitely all keto and healthy. And hopefully it inspires you to make your meals, stay on track, eat clean keto foods. And if you like this video, make sure you click that like button and hit that red subscribe button and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of these videos, if it's helping you and should I make more of them? Let me know down below.